congratulations on purchasing this beautiful calculator and I'd like to share with you a few of its initial features. In the pack, you will notice that you receive this very slim calculator, which I'll show you in a second, and two cables, a link cable and a USB cable. The USB cable allows you to connect the calculator to your computer and to charge it. TI recommends using a TI wall charger rather than the computer or other adapters that you may have at home. We can see that it has a protective front cover that can either be put separately or put behind the calculator. And this slim piece of technology now can be turned on using the on button in the bottom left hand corner. On initial startup, you'll notice that there is a welcome message. You can either press 1 to not show this message again in future times or press 2 to continue. In this situation, I'm going to press 1 and get taken to the home screen of the calculator. So you can see the cursor in the top left hand corner of the home screen where we can type our calculations. Don't be overawed by all the buttons. To start with, we're just going to look at the white buttons and we're going to just do basic calculations just like any other calculator. So we can do addition, for example, 6 plus 3, and press the enter button rather than the equals button. Division, we can either use the divide line or we can use fractions, which I'll show you later. And multiplication comes up with a star symbol, just like on a computer. If we would like to scroll up and use any of those calculations again, we can just simply arrow up using the white arrow, press enter to copy, scroll back into the question, and change the numbers. Equally, we can scroll up, press enter again, and add to that calculation. If for some reason we want to insert other values, we do exactly the same process, arrow to the left until we find where we want to go, and then press second delete, which does the insert functionality, which is in blue above the delete button. This allows us to insert other numbers or other calculations. These are simple yet useful features of the calculator, and yet this graphics calculator has so much more to offer. If you notice across the top of your handheld, it gives you the settings that the calculator is currently in. These can be changed by pressing the mode button located next to the blue second function button near the top left hand side of your handheld. You will notice that the calculator is currently in math print, which is a nice, much nicer, more natural way of seeing the calculations. The answers are given as normal values rather than in scientific or engineering mode, and we are on float rather than giving our answers in a certain number of decimal places. Important in trigonometry, we have a choice of either radians or degree mode. And most of the other aspects of the settings is fairly self-explanatory. No matter what screen we're on on the graphics calculator, to return to the home screen, we need to quit. To do this, we simply press second and then the mode button, which will return us to the home screen every single time. Now moving on from the white buttons, you can see surrounding it are the x squareds, square roots, trigonometry and log buttons like on any other scientific calculator. A really nice feature of this graphics calculator are the shortcut keys. These are found along the top by pressing alpha F1 to F4. You can see in F1 the fraction functionalities of the calculator and either by pressing 1 or enter we get the fraction template allowing us to type in various fractions and using the arrow key to move down to do the denominator. By pressing an enter we get the answer as a fraction and by pressing alpha F1 again we can convert that to a decimal if required. Equally we can convert it back to a fraction again. In F2 are further calculations that we can do, especially derivatives and integrals. In F3 are the matrix functionalities, which is a quick key compared to the main matrix button, as well as Y vars, which is used in statistics, a very nice little feature of the calculator. To get back to the home screen, like many times, we press second quit. Now back on the home screen, I'd like to share with you a really nice feature, which is the store functionality. I've experienced this a lot with stu senior students who really like to have a long number that they need to use in a later calculation stored as a variable that they can use in later calculations. To do this, they come up with the number 
and then press the store button which is located down above the on key on the handheld and we can store it as any variable we like. These are all in green across the screen and to access those we would press alpha and then that button. That number is now stored as that variable and can be used in later calculations. For example if we want to times it by four the answer now is four times as big as the variable it was before. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful and I look forward to sharing more features of the TI-84 CE with you on future tutorials. Bye for now.